when it came to a lockdown in New York, um, I was on the way to a, do a big tour and it got canceled right there. So I, I was with my family, which was great, uh, but I also not needed to do something creative, I felt immediately. Uh, and I started actually playing violin again in the studio of my wife. She has a little studio in, in, in Harlem. And then, but I also thought about piano again. I studied piano at Manhattan School of Music, jazz piano, but I did not play much in the last couple of years uh, because I'm hired as a violinist most of the time. Uh, and I thought about piano again. I went to Michiko's. I don't know, people in New York know that place. It's like a really rehearsal studio and they had like limited times to uh, rent their places and I went there and practiced piano again and then during that time I got all these little melodies I found uh, during practicing and I wrote them down and I started to write these preludes the other thing was also I need to get out of a house and I had a bike and uh, a friend in Queens um, which I recorded in, that, in their studio, many records. It's called the Spin Studios, and I had to drive two hours with the bike to get there and two hours back, and it was kind of a workout, and I saw, I drove down Fifth Avenue with no car and nothing. And every two weeks I did that and recorded one of these small pieces uh, called Preludes Now. Uh, I practiced, so I practiced for two weeks on one piece and then I went to record it in Queens. It was always an event for me. It helped me to get over this time, actually, in New York. I never thought I, I write preludes, first of all, and I never thought I'm doing a solo piano record. Uh, because, you know, I'm playing with one of the greatest pianists in the world, Richie Barak. And uh, actually, I did not tell him <laughs> that I'd do this. And he found out when he came out, of course, and he loved them, which I was very happy about. Uh, so this is really some a big emotional thing for me to have these now and have them recorded and also have them on a book, thanks to Michael Lake. Um, and I think they small, you know, my sister said this is something which will stay in your compositions. My mother always said to me when she heard my quartets, when can you play something nice? And I think now I did. And she's very happy about it.